Nicely done in the first place by Amalfitano, but now he's coughed up the ball. And City will come forward through O'Neill. Little touch by McLaren in the box, building nicely. O'Neill and Tilio. And pushed away by Lawrence Thomas for a corner. Yes, really good interplay, wasn't it? And even they were caught ball watching and getting turned inside out. The ball ended up at Tilio's right foot, not the most lethal his lethal weapon in his arsenal, but still it was good enough to test Lawrence Thomas. It was putting pressure on themselves with that uh, loose turnover, but they've won the ball back here. And Borello is so strong that he's going to go for goal here. Oh, and he almost caught Tom Glover out. He has a, a little wag of the finger and a smile on the face as well. Well, he can turn around and say, no, Brandon, don't try that. But I tell you what, another half yard in the air. And Tom's smile mightn't have been so profound. He covered his ground really well, Tommy Glover. Great effort, Barilla. Wow. So a bit of uh, contact there. Ali Reza Pagani had to think about it and points to the spot. He's going to ask oh, the ref well, to have another look. Know. I don't know. I don't know. Does does Naboot go down a little bit? Is it? There's well, a bit of contact with that left knee. Yeah. No, Naboot goes down very easily. Um, is it simulation? Who knows? I mean, it, yeah, he's a little bit clumsy in coming in, Schneiderlin. But is there enough there to overturn this? No penalty. touch by Simmons he'll continue his run down that right hand side Layuni almost lost his feet but he's not lost the ball and threads it through it's Brandon Borello yet again the wondrous strike with half time approaching and it's lucky 13 for the season for Brandon Borello what a campaign he's having and he scored for the fourth consecutive match perhaps against the run of play but the Wanderers won't care. Well, against the run of play, maybe. Not against the run of chances. And not against the run of Amor Leone. Look at this on the Harvey Norman replay. Fantastic penetrating run. And then slides a quite magnificent ball through to Brandon Borello. And where has he been all his career? On the wing. Because this guy, on this form, is a natural-born killer. The Wanderers camped in their own penalty box. Great pressure by the Premiers. Flicked through by Tilio and Thomas again to deny Melbourne City an equaliser. Here goes Tilio though. Still Tilio, still nothing Lawrence Thomas could do about that one. Marco Tilio with the equaliser. The boy from Sydney putting a dent into the Wanderers' top two hopes as the City fans celebrate. And they have been knocking on the door for the last few minutes. Bazanic for the Wanderers. Layuni, now on the left. Triore. Oh, it's the legs taken from him. Yes, penalty. Big moment, this. Tom Glover has saved penalty kicks before, save from Alessandro Diamante and Craig Goodwin last season. And he saved this one too, but not the follow-up from Nicholas Milanovic. And the Wanderers do have the lead for the second time in the game. And it's a first goal in red and black for Nicholas Milanovic. And Melbourne City, for all that pressure, find themselves trailing for the second time in the match. What can they do about it? Here's Naboot looking to make amends. And they've done so immediately through Jamie McLaren. Wow. Lawrence Thomas initially made the block, but it was too hot to handle. And you know who pounced. The best striker in A-League history moves up to 24 goals for the season. And we're back at 2-2. It's a handy release from Jamison. And Tilio is bundled down by Edin Simmons. Another penalty. I don't believe this. And a great save by Lawrence Thomas. That is absolutely top draw because Naboot hit that with real venom and Lawrence Thomas flew down to his right. That is a brilliant penalty save. Cool. 
on his heels, and the wonders have committed some numbers forward, and City could profit from that. Here's Tilio, this to win it. Surely has done. Marco Tilio. Two goals on the night. Reward for a scintillating second half display. And Melbourne City, the Premiers, look like they're going to end the regular season where they began on top and as winners. Is there time for the Wanderers to have one last attack? Might break here for Bazanic! And it was that close to 3 3. Well, <laughs> Rado Vinicic <laughs> can't believe it. I'm not sure we can either.